What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Madison and Christian here. Today we're watching another episode of The Boys. This is season three, episode seven. We've only got two left in this season, so we're very close to the end. Um, now last episode was definitely a doozy with the whole hero-gasm debacle. Um, and then of course the big fight we got between Billy, Homelander, and Soldier Boy. I thought it was pretty interesting to see that they, they got the upper hand on Homelander, even though he's so strong. Um, and it looked like he was about to get blasted, but he was able to overpower them and he even flew away. Uh, so we're concerned about him in this episode because we know how big his ego is. And I'm not sure how he's going to be able to take this loss that he was just given. Um, and then, of course, at the end of the episode, we did see Annie quit the Seven. She doesn't even want to be called Starlight anymore. So we're worried about her and Mother's Milk because uh, now she doesn't have that protection from Vought from being in the Seven anymore. So... Um, it kind of sucks like anybody can come after her now or or they can even go on TV and just discredit everything that she said um, So there should be a pretty interesting episode. We're excited to get into it. So thank you guys for joining us. Let's do it Let's do it and the soldier boy thing really takes the cake. He died in 84. She is trying to incite a panic I wonder if Starlight's actions could be considered treason. Me too. So oh my god <laughs> and What her ties with this woman a known with the Shining Light Liberation Army, a notorious human traffic. Oh my God! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh God! <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, one hundred. I mean, you stormed Normandy. Yeah, he did. Two weeks after D-Day. What? Oh, whoa. For real? Spray the fire hose of Birmingham. Some target practice. Wow. Daily so he didn't... What? Yeah, and they call him the good old days. <laughs> got him. Uh, yeah. He's got the poster on the wall. I saw that, yeah. Is he still there? What? What is going on here? Oh, oh, come on, I can't go in raw. Please don't make eye contact. Don't me. make eye contact. <laughs> no shit, come on. Chop, chop. Break time's over. That shag's not gonna vacuum itself. Come on. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he wants older chicks. Maybe if we look at the cabins and we. And then check your little pharmacies. Huh. So you're ending at Liffy. Mm hmm. Find his prescription. We're gonna need more reefer. He calls it reefer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they have to babysit this fool. <laughs> this is such a good title card. Yeah. Hey. Oh my God. That's where she is. Jeez. Is that the Eva? Do you have a brings? Oh, he's wearing makeup because. Do you have any? Like, he has an injury. Yes. The ones that, that survived are dumb. They're powerless. Soldier boy fried the V right out of their blood. Whoa. Difference between you and me. You need to be a soup. Hmm. Yep. Oh my god, I'm so scared for her right now. I used to dream of having kids with you. Oh, I did. Uh, family, no state, you know. I, I mean, can you imagine how perfect our kids would be? Sublime. Oh god. No, do me some crap. We're not savages. I respect what you are, even if you don't. I would never force myself on you. Uh, but you did to Billy's wife. Right? <laughs> but I am gonna harvest your eggs. What? What? God forbid you do die, whether by accident or choice, you'll die knowing that the very best of you can is off. Absolutely not. No, no, no. This is still a top three day in my life. Because today is the day I saw you scared. Oh, she just <laughs> had to get him. Oh my god, she's gotta get out of there. They gotta bust her out or something. 
satellite view as mine storms place about two miles in due west. Two miles. Not too many. They gotta walk it. <laughs> Could have parked closer. Right? Like hefty bags full of weed. Bitter eye than mineral. Oh. Takes the edge off his PSD. Oh, so he doesn't freak out yeah. and do the thing. Blow nothing out of everything. Yeah. Keep him chill. He's radioactive, highly traumatized, and heavily self-medicated. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Feels right. <laughs> Y'all? Right? He's like, here, here's yours. <laughs> oh, where did he go? Somewhere from his past, maybe? What is he doing? I don't know. What's happening? What? Oh, what's wrong with him? After you put that uh, paralyzed Lewis Frankel? This is just like that. <laughs> this is crazy. What the hell? You can't hide from soldiers. So this is obviously in his mind. Yeah. And by golly, we'll get you through this too. That's you are a friend. Aww. So this is his way, but Homelander has his mirror set. Yeah. No one said nothing. Oh no. Oh god. What was that about? Hey, hey, uh your your brains. Your brain's leaking? Oh that green shit's coming out of his ear. Oh fuck. Oh, oh! Yep, he's paranoid alright. <laughs> he set a bunch of booby traps. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no, he made eye contact! Oh, we're gonna see Billy's past? What the fuck is this <laughs> Is he back at home? Yeah, he's in his past, I think. Butcher, wake up. No, you're wasting your time, he's gone. What? What? Trapped in an endless nightmare until he dies of terminal dehydration. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Into this. But he's about to be dead. <laughs> Go to town on him, man. I don't give a fuck. Hey, if you can act hysterical, I'm gonna slap you like I'm Connery. <laughs> Sean Connery? Oh, chin up. Hey, deal's a deal. You let me finish this, I'll kill old man. So the deal's still on. You hear that? Uh <clears throat> you might wanna lay off the weed, huh? No, no he hears something. He does hear something. Mm -hmm. That's the second time he's done that. Lenny? Billy? You can't. Oh? Yeah, he can't interact with it. It's just a memory, you know? <laughs> oh, no. Where is he? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he's the same. Makes a lot of sense now why he is the way he is. Lenny, it's okay. He wanted to be brave for his little brother. Oh, they're looking over the footage. The Lord hates quitters. <laughs> the Lord hates quitters. <laughs> Chucks him out of my hair, old guys, and the motherfucker didn't even flinch. It will be the greatest sorrow of my life that I miss your orgasm. <laughs> we know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is he dozing off? What? What the hell? Frenchy, you're a fucking mess. He's like, okay, you got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A fine choice. A fine choice. <laughs> a big ass bottle. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's God go, Annie. Damn, okay. 
Even Kimiko was surprised. Oh. When you grow up in Iowa, there is not much else. <laughs> when did you have your first drink? Right now? Right this moment. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, is she celebrating because she lost her powers? Oh. Okay, well, cheers to that. Maybe it would have never worked on her before, you know? She couldn't oh, get drunk. Oh, like Captain America. Yeah. With what? What? She wants her powers back. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Th you know that I can't go. Yeah, no. Is she telling her what happened? I don't know. I want to read the whole message. I know. <laughs> How hard? What? How hard to put your suck your dick that you miss him that much? Hmm? His mouth must feel like a Hoover Dunlap. <laughs> what? Is so gross. <laughs> Everything you say is so gross. Yeah. <laughs> You're on a mission. You get the job done. Okay? I start going with you. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Fuck that. We know the truth. Don't clap back, Huey. You still need him. Don't clap back. He didn't storm shit. God damn it. Marlboro Man act. It's fucking crap. And I... Oh! I warned you. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not bleeding or lost a tooth or Dude, anything. He really right? took that punch. This is a big deal, Kevin. Okay, so we need to go over everything. Okay, hey, I got us this far. Didn't I? She was like, bitch, I got us this far. Got us this far? Just relax. Turn around. <laughs> oh, that pissed her off. Yeah, it sure <laughs> did. But we both know that our marriage, sex life has gotten a little vanilla. What is he proposing? Branching? Yeah, like, um, you know, uh, introduce her partner. Just to spice things up a little bit. Like a fish partner. God. <laughs> well, I'd like to introduce you to someone. Oh, oh no. Oh god. Okay. No. No. I am. No. Do that. No. <laughs> the fuck. She's just laying there, like, <laughs> the fuck? Ambrosia says she wants to taste you. No, no, fuck, I can't come out. I'm out, no. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> you want me to fuck a, a fucking fish? Oh, hey, <laughs> she's a mollusk. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't know. How long have you been fucking it behind my back? Okay, it's not an it, it's a her. Get your pronouns right. Oh my god. <laughs> She's time to hold off, babe. <laughs> he called it babe. Oh, uh, her. Her. Babe. <laughs> have something to show you. Oh, this is making me sad. He has Black no Noir's life is tragic. Like, the more we find out about him, yeah. I know. It's so tragic. He's bringing the chair. Oh, they're going to put on, like, a play or something. I love his imagination, though. It's very Looney Tunes. Oh my God. Oh, this is too. I'm just playing Oh, that Soldier Boy. Yeah. I could have been. You're not good enough. Now shut your cock hole and get to work. Oh. Huh? Oh. This is a violent children's cartoon. Please stop. I see you getting out of line again. Try to move on. I will put you in the fucking ground. Understood? Well, no wonder they all fucking hated him. I don't blame them for doing what yeah, they did. Why yeah. Did, why did he think they liked him? Oh shit. <gasps> God damn. 
He's been beating people up all <gasps> life. Oh, he hit Lenny. What? He rewarded him. His book. You don't want to be a fucking little puff all your life. Wow. Okay. Don't you listen to him. Don't you listen to that worthless number shine. Aww. He wishes he could say this, but he's already gone. So, where are you guys headed? We we're just on our way to a Samaritan's Embrace Retreat over there in Danville. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he brainwashed them. That priest is oh. going to and she will too. <laughs> he can control them. She's a human being, a nun. And if there's one thing I know. Oh, no. Oh. He was right! He was right! Stay still! Stay still! <laughs> He's like, fucking shoot her! Fuck me! No! Hard pass on this exorcist! <laughs> hey, first off, I don't have shell shock. Fuck you. Second, this is what I'm talking about. This. He called it shell shock? Yeah. Incidents that uh, she opened the Starlight House for runaway teens? Huh? Uh, what is he insinuating? <laughs> That she opened that and is human trafficking them off? They disappeared. They are never seen again. It's horrific. Oh my god. He brought wow. his daughter. Wow. How did she let that happen? Whoa. Whoa. It's not him. He's, I know. He's, he's tripping. Yeah, he's tripping. Scare, boy! Everybody saw that. He's great. He's great. <laughs> oh, he's scared. <gasps> the milk. No. Frenchie needs his drugs and Homelander needs his milk. <laughs> I hate him. Why is he so gross about it? <laughs> uh, she caught him. <laughs> you think uh, I'm not in control? No. <laughs> ranting about Starlight instead of talking of the next president of the United States. Yeah. yeah. Lander, button your shit up. Your flailing doesn't fucking seem right here. Just... Oh! Where did you get this? What was on that paper? Yeah, what was it? Was it Ryan's? Oh! Alive? No! He is alive. I thought he died. Oh, no. Yeah. Boy, you murdered Blue Hawk right in front of you. You tried to save Blue Hawk. No, I did not. Blue Hawk will live on because we gave you his heart. <gasps> his heart starts pumping. Able to heart. No more heart. So he's good now. Look, you'll need insane amounts of rehab, but luckily you heal fast, bro. Yes. What? Wow. They're ASAP. You're okay talking shit about Starlight? Yeah, sure. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Why? He, he doesn't know. Witty biopic. You're a roughneck gangbanger from the South Side. Slanging that yo-yo. What a track coach. We're thinking Tom Hanks. <laughs> you a more civilized way. Oh my God. I'm not doing You're going to love it. Anyway, I got to bounce. But the A-Train's back, baby. <laughs> right? That's your... Please get out of here, Ashley. <laughs> right. Russian nerve agent. Expose you on what to nervous joke. Our nervous system shuts down multiple organs, fail, painful death. But for soldier boy, it's a nap. Oh, wow, dude. What? We cannot go back to Russia. Right. Oh, oh my bro. God. I'm going to. He's going to be so pissed. No clue. 
Aww. Still Pants? I'm still high. <laughs> She couldn't feel his arms? <laughs> no offense. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. I know I'm asking a lot. This is gonna make me cry. To, to use my powers to do good. To fight for the ones I love. Like Frenchie. I almost lost Frenchie because I couldn't fight. <gasps> I knew she was gonna feel like that. Again. Frenchie, is your ride or die? He's like, yeah, I was. She said, not because it felt bad. I love her so much. Oh my God, one of them better not die. I swear to God. Wow, she broke in. It looks like cologne. It does look like cologne. <laughs> She gonna find something out? Hyper accelerated what? Atrophy of cortex? Seizures? Jesus Christ. Fucking Huey. The soldier boy's abuse you can take. So when Stan Edgar made you an offer in Nicaragua. Oh. Stan Edgar did it? The soldiers just fade away. I don't want the details. <laughs> That's Stan Edgar, <laughs> the little chipmunk. Just a child, but they're convinced he'll be stronger than Soldier Boy. And he can. What? Damn. Can you please stop beating those in front of me? I'm allergic. Oh, so they were talking about it right when Mallory was there. Yes. She just didn't hear it. Whoa. Oh, we're going to see what happened. Something we should have done a long time ago, you piece of shit. Let's go. Oh, Whoa. they all jumped him. Let's go. I want to see this live action, not a cartoon. Same. <laughs> the cartoon's cool, though. I know, yeah. No. No. Oh. He burned his face. Bro, stop. Oh, my God. That's why he's like that? <laughs> him <gasps> so yeah she lied about it to Mallory but when you gave him to the Russians you knew soldier boy would come back one day you need to f f uh, face him I'm scared for him it's okay bravery isn't having no fear bravery is having fear standing up to it yeah <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. It's all in his mind. Yeah. Oh, he's about to have some words for Todd. You okay with this? He took her to a homelander rally. Yeah. So? Excuse me. He took her away. She didn't know about it? You have any idea what kind of danger you put my baby girl in? There's no danger. Starlight is making all that up. Uh, read any news outside the establishment. Me oh, okay. Homelander is lying to you. He's a fucking psychopath. Worse than Starlight. <laughs> She's trafficking kids. The same oh my god, this guy is so stupid. Todd, you're a fucking moron. Homelander ain't protecting shit, alright? He's feeding you this insane fairy tale and you're too fucking stupid and, and brainwashed to fucking see it. Let's Preach. go! <laughs> Preach. If you want to risk your life, fine. But you're not taking my daughter. Nope. You're not a father. Someone's 
Oh, no. Thank yeah. you, Mother's Milk. Fuck you, bro. Oh my god, Todd. Oh no, what are we gonna do without Todd? Yeah, Todd. He was taking you to a Homelander rally. Come on, girl. Now she's gonna think bad about him, though. I know, but it's gonna come to light what Homelander did. Oh, oh my god. Here's what happens now. You're gonna march into Vienna Studios and you're gonna recant everything you said. It was a tragic cocktail of heartbreak, Zoloft and Zoloft. I stop Soldier Boy before he murders more people. And I find Maeve. If she's still alive. Well, Maeve's just learning her manners. Oh my god. Uh... Here's the thing. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm not. I see who you are. Scared little boy. Yep. I don't know what I told you what happened to Huey. You walk. That's it. Well, Huey can protect himself now. Now that you've told my 190 <gasps> followers, almost. Let's go! Starlight, you're not supposed to record us when we're running lines. Oh, ha -ha. she fucking got his ass. I was wondering how she was going to be able to just walk out, but yeah. Why she was so confident? Oh my uh, god, my hands were sweating. I was scared. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Oh, there he is. No, 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 no. Huey, teleport over there and snatch him. There we go. Shit. Oh, he took him somewhere. Oh, oh to Billy. Wait, wait, wait. Why the fuck am I naked? Why the fuck am I naked? I'm just trying to get away from the voices. I'm just trying to get away from the voices. I'm just trying to get away from the voices. Oh. I'm going to open my eyes. Because he's been in so many people's minds. He's all fucked up. Also, we, we don't have to do this naked. All right? Just, just close. That's <clears> close. <throat> I'm going to reach in. I'm going to grab you something. He's like, I constantly bring clothes because I'm always leaving Oh, them. yeah, always getting naked. <laughs> no, no way. I can get you out of here. Can you just, please, please wake him up. I'll teleport you away. He's like, nah, man, I saw what he did to, to gunpowder. Oh, yeah. Damn, he's so lucky. Huey had his back. And what's that going to do the moon, hmm? Don't for bloody hard what I do. Besides, the old cunt hates me the most. So he left him, and Lenny killed himself. Please, please. Leave off. For fuck's sake, Lenny. It ain't my job to look after you. Yes, it is. All your life. That's the last thing he fucking told him? I'm not that bastard. Come off it, Billy. You always have been. Because anyone who's ever loved you, you end up getting them killed, don't you? No. He dies. And he will. And no one can stop you. So this is like his conscience. This is what he thinks in his head. I'm sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Sorry for what? He thinks he's Lenny. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, Soldier Boy! <gasps> I knew it. I knew Soldier Boy was coming. Oh my! Oh my God! God. Please stop! No! 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 Please stop! Please stop! Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh no! I can't do that! I can't do that! I can't! Oh! Oh! Are they gonna fight? Oh, thank God he took the, the V24. As I warned her, there's no way he makes a fucking move without Vaughn. They gave him the green light. Why would they do that? Dang, the TNT twins were right. It was Noir. Yeah. I thought they were just trying to throw him under the bus. 
Oh shit! Oh my god! It's. I think you got him. Yeah, you got him. Jesus! Oh my god! What did he tell him? He said Noir would never do anything without Fox. But then he said that's impossible. What did he say? That's not good. I Billy's mean, like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Billy is shook up. You turn your brain into fucking Swiss cheese, so please be honest with me and tell me how many doses have you taken? Like four or five? Oh, no. Three to five doses kills you. Oh, shit. Okay, but I'm calling back every five minutes until. Butcher. <laughs> he hung up on her. He's not gonna let Huey do it anymore. Yeah, he shouldn't. This is him, Faye. What about it? We got to swing by the office and get some more. What? He's tricking him. I'm gonna need fun. I'm gonna finish this fucking job. What? Yeah, fuck yeah. He's gonna abandon him or something. He's not gonna let him come with. Oh, he's doing the sad Billy face. I'm so scared. Really? I'm not even gonna lie. It worked the first time, so I'm, I'm assuming it'll work the same way again. I know, I'm just... I don't know what the blast does to them afterward, you know? Oh, she's healing. Oh, it worked. Oh, I'm sure she feels much better. So she got the same powers again. Yeah, she doesn't have like a giant hole in her stomach now. Uh huh. She was walking around looking like a Sally doll. Yeah, she had crazy stitches in there. What? Sir, I apologize for disturbing you. No. Ball 1980. I get called into Vogelbaum's lab for an experiment. Some shit about genetics. I still remember. Is that his son? Turns out. They used that to make him? Vogelbaum made a kid. Oh, shit. 1981. Oh, my God. This is going to bring them together. I don't let you take the spotlight. What father wouldn't want that for his son? Oh, shit. That's what he told him. That's what the mind dude told him. That's why he freaked out. That's it? Oh, damn. Oh, my God, dude. I knew it. I knew somehow they were going to be pulled together. <sighs> oh, we can't just, we can't ever get a win in the boys, you know? Well, that was a pretty insane episode. Um, I think obviously the first thing we got to talk about is the big reveal at the end that Homelander is Soldier Boy's son, uh, which is crazy and kind of got us thinking because we know that Soldier Boy was just like the sperm donor. Mm -hmm. He wasn't actually with anybody. So what woman, like whose eggs did they use to make Homelander? Who's his mom, essentially? Like, was it another soup? Was it a regular person? Because we've seen that Ryan was born from Homelander, who is a soup, and then his mom was just a regular person. Yeah. So. And Ryan has powers. And Ryan has powers. He wasn't given the V. Right. So we were wondering, does that mean maybe Homelander, Homelander wasn't? Yeah, was just told that he was given V and he wasn't, and he actually was like born naturally. Not, not naturally, but but his powers created. came naturally. Yes, powers right. came naturally. Yes. So. Because that would be that would mean like that the blast that Soldier Boy was supposed to do wouldn't even have worked on him. I think so. Because Maybe. because we know people like Kimiko were taken and then were given the V. Yes. And that gave them their powers. And then we saw with Kimiko, um, she's kind of like the experiment here. Right. Was that she was hit with Soldier Boy's blast and they said in this episode, I think they used the word fried. Yeah. Like it fried the V out of her. Mm -hmm. But someone like Homelander, is the V running through his veins or are, are his powers natural? 
Like, if Ryan was hit with the blast, would, would it, it take away his powers? Would it do any? Yeah. Or would it do any? Like, would it just blast him backwards, you know? That's a really scary thought because... Like, I think it might only work on people who had to be injected, not have powers naturally. Yeah, so that's a little worrying considering this was our only option to take him down. Now, yeah. we did see in this episode, he clearly takes damage, you know, mm -hmm. he bruised. So if he takes damage, he can be killed. But the yes. problem is, is he's just so powerful yes. that we don't have anybody that can be on his level. I don't know, it's just really worrying because the whole plan this season was to go get Soldier Boy figure out how he got killed or whatever, and then now it's just all going to shit, so. Well, the the, the odds were already kind of stacked against them. Like, yeah, you're right, how, how do we get so many soups to kind of attack Homelander at once? And yeah. now it's like, how do we get so many soups to attack Homelander and Soldier Boy at once? With now? no guarantee that we're gonna win. Cause yeah. that was the whole point of this crazy weapon from Russia yeah. is like, it killed somebody so powerful like Soldier Boy, it could do it to Homelander. And now it's like- And now it's working with Homelander. <laughs> you know, like oh that's crazy. Oh God, it's so I also, cringe. I also find it interesting that we found out that Homelander was um, created from Soldier Boy's sperm in mm. the same episode that he told Maeve, I'm gonna take your eggs and make a baby. Yeah, that's, that's pretty creepy. So maybe Homelander was created like that, like from a soup whose eggs they just took from her without her consent. Oh my God, do you think they still have her trapped up there? I don't know who her mom is. Or yeah. Or her, his mom. I don't yeah. know who his mom is. I don't know if we'll ever be, re that'll be revealed to us. I don't know if she's alive or she's dead or, I know nothing about this human being. I just, it's, it's just, just curious. Yeah, and it just raises some questions now. Like, are they even going to be able to defeat him now? And I think Billy doesn't know that. You know, obviously Billy does not know this recent turn of events. And they're in the house with Soldier Boy still. Yeah, they're still in the house. We made sure to go back and check too. Like, so I'm scared he's gonna be like, hey, I'm still, do I'm still here with the dudes who are trying to kill you. I'm just gonna make quick work of them really fast and then I'll come meet up with you, you know? Luckily, I think they still have the V24. It hasn't been 24 hours yet, so yeah. they, can, they can fight. It's just... But now Billy also knows that the V24 is going to kill, kill them. Will kill them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm worried they're going to be put in a position where it's like... They have to. I have to because I'm going to die yeah. to, this, to this dude. So I have to take the V, but then it's going to kill me right after, you know? Dude, yeah. It's like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty much the whole MO of this show, I was gonna right? Say, that's kind of the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> Now I did want to touch on the Lenny and Billy flashback that we got in this episode. Really tragic, really heartbreaking um, to learn more about Billy's past. And we have gotten little clues and glimpses as to what happened with his brother in, in past episodes and even a little bit last season too. Mm -hmm. But as far as I remember, I don't think we were ever, ever given like a definitive answer as to actually how Lenny died. Um, and we, yeah. we did figure it was different in the show because I know in the comic book, I think he's hit by a bus or hit by a car or something. Like he's, he's killed in a very dramatic way. Um, so in the show, I felt like they were gonna do things differently because the talk that Billy had with his dad last season, it didn't seem like Lenny was hit by a car or something like that. No. Cause they were, they were trying to place the blame on each other. Billy right. was saying, it's your fault he's dead and his dad was saying well it's your fault too like you just left um so we weren't really sure what to think and i think in our past reactions you could kind of get that sense that we, right. we weren't really sure uh because we kind of thought through context clues that maybe he got him hooked on drugs or something and that he od'd or something like that true and i don't think i ever thought that until this season uh -huh. just because we got the conversation with Maeve um, where he was talking about, I've done them all, you know, all the different drugs. And then, you know, that scene where uh, Huey's like throwing up after he took the V24 and then he kind of like sees a glimpse of his brother. He also, I think he also saw him on the TV too. Yes. When he was injecting it himself. That was the first time we saw him this season was when he was injecting the V and he saw Lenny on the screen mm -hmm. saying, Becca wouldn't like this, Becca would hate this. Yeah. And Billy told him, well, Becca's dead. Like, what does she care, you know? Mm -hmm. So that was the first part. And then yes, he told Maeve, I've done every drug, crank, speed, coke, whatever. Like this V stuff is way different. Mm -hmm. So already I had in my mind like, okay, Billy's done a lot of drugs. He had and, a hard pass, and yeah. And Lenny doesn't like to see him shooting up. 
because maybe he's seen that before. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, when he saw Huey throwing up, like going through withdrawal or just like a really heavy come down from the V, I thought maybe he had seen Lenny in that situation too. And which, he felt responsible because yes. he gave him the drugs. Yes. And which would make sense in the context of why the father, like obviously the father was abusive in his own right, um, which would maybe cause the kids to go do drugs, which would then cause the dad to blame Billy and say you were the one that killed yeah, him because so, you provided the drugs. So we kind of filled our mind with those clues and mm -hmm. then pieced it together and then came to the conclusion that maybe Billy introduced Lenny to drugs and then that led him to OD or something. But in reality, it was so much sadder. Yeah, I he, mean, he felt abandoned. Yeah, he felt abandoned, couldn't live with his father beating on him every day and then killed himself. And it was so sad because Billy, it seemed like he tried to get out. Well, Billy, it seemed like he tried to get out so that he wouldn't end up like his dad. But No, as we I meant saw, out of the barracks to go back and visit oh, him. Oh, yeah. He said they wouldn't let him leave. But the whole reason he left was to get away from his father so that yeah. he wouldn't end up like him. And then we see he ended up like him anyway. I know. Like, he thought he was trying to better himself so that he wouldn't become his father, you know. And then his brother killing himself ended up throwing him down that spiral even harder. Yeah. And it was just very heartbreaking to see that. And honestly... That was probably a really tough situation for Billy to go through, like reliving all that, not being able to say anything. And then the first person he sees was Huey. Yes. When he woke up. Which Ugh. leads me to the next thing. I think he's tricking Huey. After yeah, the conversation, I think so too. After the conversation he just had with Annie, he's not about to take Huey into harm's way. He's mm -hmm. not about to let him take more V. Especially after that trip he had. Exactly. And, yeah. and Huey doesn't understand that because he didn't see the flashback like we did. No. So he's he's all in. He's like, yeah, we're going to go beat up Homelander. We're going to do it. This is the mission. He doesn't understand that he, that Billy is going to probably leave him somewhere or, or he's not going to let him come. I don't, basically, I don't you know? think so either. And I mean, you know, as much as Huey or I mean, Billy wants to, you know, portray himself as a badass. He still cares, you know, uh -huh. and he still cares about the people closest to him. And I know he cares about Starlight and Huey's relationship. I know he cares about them. And I don't think he would want to bring Huey into that situation too, especially after hearing what Starlight said. So yeah, I think he might end up dropping him off somewhere and then texting Starlight being like, come get him, he's passed out. You know what I mean? So I think so too, yeah. And honestly, it'll be for the best. You know, I, Huey is a good guy. I understand why he took the compound V. He wanted to be the big man on campus for a second, but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think he should die for this. You know, this. I kind of think that's why he was okay with Huey taking the V. is because he saw Lenny in Huey. And that's why yeah. Lenny kind of committed suicide is because... He wasn't strong enough to stand he, up to his bully. He felt powerless, like just being beaten up every day, day in and day out. He kind of saw that same thing in Huey. That's how Huey felt too. Like, I've just been bullied my whole life. This is my one chance to fight back. I think that's why Billy was like finally okay with it, you know? That's but then he realized he was wrong. He's killing him. Yeah. I, I think that was what I saw too. It was pretty sad. Now, I did want to mention the part with uh, Starlight at Vought Tower. I thought she had like, I thought she was crazy for going back in there. Like what balls to yeah. like actually like walk right back up to the tower, do whatever you need to do, like in casual ass clothes. Turn off the cameras. And then just, yeah. and then just walk back out, even with Homelander coming up to her. Um, but she was so smart to have her phone on live that whole time in case anybody tried to do anything to her. Like it's, it seemed like Homelander was about to do. Um, but now, now that we know the whole Soldier Boy Homelander situation, I'm wondering if Homelander, obviously he's having to like try to spin everything Starlight just did or, or Annie. Yeah. Now he doesn't need to. Now Soldier Boy's not only back, but is his father. Oh. That's going to be the biggest news. Not what Annie did. Yeah. So in a way, this kind of saved Homelander. Because I think a lot of people would have a lot of questions for him or, or would be upset at him. But now he can be like, oh, no, no, no. Don't look at that over there. Look at a, look this, at this over here. Yes. Look I at found Soulja my dad. I found my dad. Yeah. So... It's going to be really interesting to see what happens next episode. Honestly, I'm very concerned because yeah, so many bad things have happened this season and I don't foresee that stopping in the last episode. You yeah, know? and I don't see how like Vought would positively spin this. You know what I'm saying? If like people did start asking the right questions. But the problem is, is now you have Victoria Newman on your side and we still don't even know what was on that yellow piece of paper. 
That's true. She gave to Homelander. That's true. She needed a favor or something, right? Yeah, which makes me... I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Like, we don't know what that was. She said, it's something I need you to take care of for me. Mm. Also, you know what? We haven't seen Ryan for a minute. And that's what I was afraid of, is that it might be... What if Homelander tries to take Soldier Boy to go meet Ryan? Like, this is your grandson. But he doesn't know where he is. Because remember? Oh, you're right. He doesn't Mal know where Ryan is. Yeah, Mallory has him. Oh, God. I hope I hope he doesn't find out somehow. I know, dude. Yeah. I, I hope he doesn't either. Because if Ryan sees both of them, he's going to be terrified. He's going to be terrified. Well, no matter what happens next episode, for sure we're going to get a big fight between all the characters or something. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe Frenchie will take the V. Now that he saw Kimiko do it. You think he'll take regular Compound V? I think maybe he will because Kimiko did it because she said, you're my family and I got to do what I have to to protect you. Like, because I didn't have my powers, you almost died. And I, I think he might feel the same way and be like, well, why why is this all on you? Like, I can, I can take the V too and we can be in this together. Or maybe he just won't tell her. And because he didn't have powers, he got captured by Nina. Yeah. And... Yeah, got Because yeah. I've been worried about the two of them the whole season. I feel like we're getting all this foreshadowing that one of them's going to die. I mean, I love the Kimiko, you know, Frenchie moments. Don't get me wrong. They're very heartfelt and loving, but that just scares me even they're more. They're too nice for a show like this. Especially <laughs> considering this show. I mean, this show loves to rip my heart out. And oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little always worried about Frenchie and Kimiko, but I'm really happy that when she got the V, everything went off without a hitch. Because I think we were both worried about that. All right, guys, this was a crazy episode and we only have one more left in the season. So we're definitely nervous to get into the last one. So if you want to catch that with us and all the other shows we're watching, you know what to do. Hit the like button and subscribe because it definitely helps us out. Follow our Instagram for some extra content from us. And real quick, we did want to make a shout out to our newest Patreon supporters, Logan, Anthony, Benjamin, and Lou. You guys are the greatest along with all of our other supporters. Now, real quick, guys, we did want to announce another round of voting for our bonus movie reaction on our Patreon. And the movie choices are Tim Burton's Batman, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. We've never seen any of these movies before, and we're really excited to see what you guys pick. Now our last movie was Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. We had a blast watching the movie and it will be exclusively on our Patreon for the rest of this month. So if you'd like to support the channel, get an extra movie reaction and vote on our next one, we'll leave a link for the Patreon down below. But as always, you guys are the greatest and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out guys. Bye.